So you have read on results, but you wonder what exactly do they mean? So in this video, we're going to talk about understanding your radon level. We're going to talk about how radon is measured, what radon levels are normal, what the EPA recommends about radon levels, the health risks of radon, and how you can find out your radon levels. So radon is measured in what's called picocuries per liter, which is a measurement of radioactive decay in a gas. And one picocurie per liter amounts to 2.22 radioactive decays or energy emissions per minute per liter of air for one picocurie. And at four picocuries per liter, the federal action level, there are over 12,500 radioactive emissions per liter of air every single day. So in an average room, a bedroom measuring 10 by 10, maybe with about eight foot ceilings, at four, four picocuries per liter, there will be over 283 million radioactive emissions every day directly from the decay of radon in that room. And really there could be up to five times that amount when factoring in the emissions from radon progeny, which is what comes after radon in the decay chain. This is a picture of a cloud chamber. And what a cloud chamber does is it allows you to see the radioactive emissions and the radioactive energy coming out of a gas. In this case, they've injected radon into this chamber, and you can see it uh, decaying radioactively and shooting out um, energy particles. That's exactly what radon does in the air in our homes and in our lungs. And that's what there would be, you know, 283 million of um, in a bedroom uh, in a given day at, at four picocuries per liter. So what radon levels are normal? So the average radon level outside is 0 0.4 picocuries per liter. The average radon level inside buildings in the United States is 1.3 picocuries per liter. And the average radon level in homes in Kansas is, is 5.1. So what does the EPA recommend about different radon levels? They recommend that if your radon levels are below 2 picocuries per liter, that you take no action to reduce your radon levels. If they're between 2 and 4, that you consider taking action to reduce your radon levels. And if your levels are at 4 or above, that you take action to reduce your radon. It's worth noting that technically there's no safe level of radon and that lower is always better. So um, I've had people hire us to, do, to reduce their radon levels and they were below 2 um, at the beginning. Uh, they just wanted their radon levels as low as possible in their basement where their children spend a lot of time. So those are those are federal recommendations, but you know, your decision will be based on your own comfort level um, and budget, I suppose. So what are the health risks of radon? Radon is dangerous. It's a long-term exposure to elevated radon increases your chance of getting lung cancer. And even among cancers, lung cancer is a really bad diagnosis. Um, research has shown that lung cancer has the lowest survival rates of the 10 most common cancers. In fact, the EPA estimates that over 21,000 people die each year from lung cancer caused by radon exposure. And that is that is over 50 people per day who die because they were exposed to elevated radon. So how do you find out your radon levels? You could get an affordable kit from Amazon or from the local hardware store for about $15. You could get a very similar kit from your local extension office if they have them. They're about uh, $10 when they have them. Or you could request the same kit from us uh, for about $5 or a similar kit. And the reason we do that is we think everybody should know their radon levels. And we buy them in bulk, so we pass that savings on to you. Also, too, we think if you have a good experience getting your radon levels from us and you have high radon, that you'll consider hiring us to fix your high radon. There's no obligation there. And last but not least, you could call us or another local radon testing company to get a test with a continuous radon monitor. And that's a machine that goes in your house. Those tests are good. They, you get the results a little bit faster. You get a little more information in the report. But those tests cost five to 10 times as much as doing a test with a kit. So if, 
unless you're in a real estate transaction or in a big hurry to get your results, the test kit is certainly a more economical option. And the test kits are generally accurate if you follow the directions. So if you have any questions about any of that, it could be about radon in general, it could be about radon testing, it could be about radon mitigation or how to fix high radon, or maybe you've already got radon results and you'd just like to talk to somebody about that, give us a call or visit us on our website. Um, or if you're ready, you could request a test kit from us for $5. Um, easiest way to do that is to go to that URL there on the screen or click the link below this video and go ahead and order your $5 test kit and consultation. We'd be glad to uh, help you out with that. But either way, give us a call if you have any questions. We'd be glad to help.